over the third place team, but we were behind Clay and Patrick just by a little bit. So we felt like we were in a good spot to take the championship. As we were getting ready for the finals, um, we roped a lot of steers over a, about a four or five day period and, and we, uh, we roped really good. We didn't miss, we didn't, I don't really remember missing any steers. We'd, we might have roped 40 or 50 steers a day and just clicking like, like I've never felt before. We roped really good. And as I left Jake's place to go on out to Vegas, I was in my rig by myself and a buddy of mine called me up. He's a friend, he's a, he's a brother in Christ. And he, he said he had a word, God give him a word for me. And that word was confidence. And uh, anyone that, that knows me at all knows that I've never had a problem with confidence. And so when I, when I first heard that word, I thought, you know, God, what, why, are you, uh, why are you giving me a word that, you know, I already feel, I have confidence. I, I feel like I know what I can do in my roping. And as I drove down the road at, within another couple of hours, I started to realize that God wasn't talking about the confidence that I had in myself. He was talking about the confidence that I needed to put in Him and that I needed to have the faith in Him that He is who He says He is and He will do what He says He will do in His Word. And I needed to have confidence in Him. And little did I know how much that was going to mean to me as the week went on through the finals. Jake Barnes and Corey Coots, they're grounded. They're sold of where it needs to be. Their talent came from the big guy and now they're using it in front of the big crowd. There it is, Coots for two. Barnes with seven gold buckles already. That's a fourth place check with a five and one. Nice hairdo, brother. $6 million in career earnings. Corey J. Coates to the heel catching side. Five one last night, four six tonight, second in the air bridge. Second in the run. Five seven gold buckles. Corey Coates, 12 trips, three kids. An NFR aggregate champion. Say something to be right. Gotta make it right. Jay. great roper he's a great teacher this father of five has taught so many how to do it correctly his partner is cornrow Corey. got the greatest hairdo in las vegas that'll work run and steer come up on the bay rap two got it five and seven is a sixth place champ what's a minute the week started out great we placed in three out of the first four rounds things are rolling we're leading the average you couldn't have, you, you know, in my mind, I couldn't have scripted it any better, and I felt like we were in the driver's seat to win the championship, and it was exciting. I was able to get in on a, uh, be a part of a church service out at the finals that was awesome. Got to pray with some people, got to do a lot of, a lot of neat things, and of course at the finals, uh, go sign autographs and get to, get to tell a lot of people about the Lord and, and you get you're you're in the spotlight you get to, you know a lot of people get to see who you are and you get to build relationships that that you wouldn't normally have an opportunity to have and so it, it was the first four days of the finals was it was just awesome the fifth go around everybody knows that uh, Jake got his thumb cut off an accident happened that there's no rhyme or reason why, but it did. Let's go to Jack Barnes and the Corey Coots to get ready. What have they done thus far? $17,900 a man. Where are they at in the average number one? Here's a pair that's very viable. Hey!
to get some help. Ow. This world we live in is a it's a sinful place. It's a it it's it's the world and uh, it's there's no we can't understand why things happen to us or why things happen to the people around us or whatever. There's really no good explanation for it, but through Christ, in Him, we are overcomers. We, he lifts us up to a level that's above that of the world. And so, all of a sudden, that confidence that I needed to have in Him was ever so present because the enemy come to, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And all of a sudden, all the negative things that started hitting me that night after Jake cut his thumb off, it was, it was powerful. But I kept standing on the Word. I kept believing that God had good things for me, that everything my hand touched would be blessed, that Jake was healed. We prayed for him right there after it happened. I went to the hospital, prayed with him. He encouraged me to go finish the week out and uh, and do a good job. You know, don't don't just give up because he was done. To go ahead and finish it out in a in a strong way and do what the Lord had laid on my heart to do. And so uh, there was a 24-hour period there where I was just completely and totally a lot of negative things going through my head but yet I just kept standing on the word and having confidence in in who God says I am in Christ and so I come back the next night Trevor he doesn't have a horse he doesn't have a glove he doesn't have a rope he's, he's only roped one steer on the horse that he's fixing to ride but yet we come out and at that time tied the arena record and was 3.7 and won a go round. And that was one of the most awesome things that's ever happened in my life. And then the next night, come back and as I ride into the box, the crowd just comes to their feet and they're cheering and encouraging, you know, us to want to see it again. And of course, you know, the doubts that that, that could happen again want to come up but yet I just kept standing on the word. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And, and I'm an overcomer through him. And I can, you know, all of those things are things that I'm, I'm telling myself as I ride into the box. And I just had a peace. I just had a comfortable, that peace that God talks about is, is what I was experiencing at that time. And we come out, and we were 3-8, and we win another go-round. And then and the crowd goes crazy, and it, it was one of the most awesome times to feel that the, the it really, to me, it Trevor was the presence Trevor Brazil of God. will rope the last five rounds with Corey Coots. Last night, an accident, an injury to the thumb of Jake Barnes took Jake out of it. Don't let the help down, though. It's a great combination. Holy! Oh, holy! Oh, oh, and that's oh, got to be a thank you to Jake. Oh, Come here, oh. bud. There yes, you go. Sir. There you that. go. It is for his partner, Jake Barnes, that they stuck it on him tonight. That's the VN victory. Give the glory to God. For Mr. Barnes. is very much alive for a world title. They won the round last night. Oh! Whoa! They won the round last night. They will come back with a 3-8 tonight. Lay it on him, lay it on him. Come on, Las Vegas! Come lay on! It. Come on! Well, ladies and gentlemen... So that was, that was really neat. And then, above all of that, I actually got back into contention for winning the championship. And then it didn't work out. And uh, I had a guy come up to me and, and he said, you know, you've done this for a long time. 
and it's not fair that you didn't that you and Jake didn't win the championship this year. And I said, you know what? Who I am is not determined by whether or not I win a championship. My Corey Kuntz, the, the real me, is not defined by whether or not I have a gold buckle. It's defined by who I am in Christ and how I portray Christ in my life and how the light shines through me. And as long as I live that away, my life is full. My life is, I have joy, I have peace, and I can, I can be the person that I want to be as long as I have Christ in my life. And so it, it was one of the most amazing finals, the one of the most, most powerful things that I've ever been a, far, a part of. And um, it, was, it was just complete and total blessing to, to, to be a part of that. And a, and a large part of that goes to Jake Barnes because of the example he set for me, because of um, the way he lives his life and the things that I learned from him just being around him. And he, he really took me to another level spiritually and in my roping. And um, you know, that's, that's, a big, that's a big part of why, where I am today. And, uh, you know, I really want to thank Alan Bach, the, the, the partners in this, in this ministry that are putting together these uh, DVDs and um, putting something together that, that as a cowboy, as, a, as I have a testimony for the Lord, that we can send this out and take the gospel out, out to the world because of the technology that we have today. And if it wasn't for, for guys like Alan and Clay and Jake and, and, the, and the churches that have come together to, to put this ministry together and the vision that God put in them, we wouldn't have this opportunity. And so I really appreciate what they're doing and uh, I wanna thank them and I just, I pray that God blesses you.